Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at Autodesk Point Layout 2016 within Revit. What we will be doing is using the software to place the APL points on the duct hangers. That way we can export the information out to an Excel format type of file, like a CSV file, and then it can that file can then be brought into a total station, such as the uh, TopCon LM100. Here I am in Revit 2016. I have a 3D model of a MEP system. And as you can see, I've got some duct work here, and I've got these hangers that I've built from scratch. What we'd like to do is we'd like to place an Autodesk point layout node at each of the tops of the hanger clips. We can go through the process of using Autodesk point layout and manually placing a point, calling it what we want, picking the element that we want, and picking this. That's a manual process. There's nothing wrong with it. It'll just take a long time. Because as you can see, we have a lot of them to put in there. How do we do it quickly on all of them? The easiest way to do this is to select the family and edit the family. When we go into the family, we can see that the anchors are here and here. And this is a face-based uh, family, so what we can do is we can actually just hide this, and we want to get access to the underside of this and place a point here and here. So I'll head over to Autodesk Point Layout, pick Manual Process again, and then give it a description. We're going to call it the Duct Hanger Anchor Point. It's a stakeout. We we'll hit OK. We're selecting the element and we'll pick the face of this. It'll place a point there, and we'll place one here as well. Now that we have it placed, we need to make sure that it's aligned and locked properly to the reference planes because our duct hanger width changes and our depth may change as well. So we can use the align command to align to those reference planes, that control point, both in vertical and horizontal positioning on both of them, And then at the same time, we also need to go to the elevation view, hide this object, and align and lock it horizontally to the face of that um, 3D uh, extrusion. So we we'll use the align command again, align that point and lock it, head over to this one, and lock it. Now that that's finished, we can reset. We can head over to the 3D view, we can see what we've got to work with. We can save what we've done. And I'll just put it here under duct hangers. And when you're finished, you can load it into the project. Now when it comes up to this window to replace uh, the existing one, if you pick the first one, it will replace the families with the new one, but it won't alter any modified instance properties um, values for each of these uh, hangers because remember these duct hangers they're different widths so if you were to pick the top one you're okay if you pick the bottom one all of them will default back to the def to the original design of that family and then you'd have to modify each of the widths of each of the duct hangers and you don't want to do that so we'll click override the existing version and now you'll see every single one has a point you can do this as well over here with the pipe duct hangers same principle now that they have been placed, if we go to our ceiling plan for that view, um, if we select a hanger, you can see what it looks like. You may not be able to see the point, but that's OK because you can always tag it. So we can go to Autodesk Point Layout, add the tag. It'll bring up a window that asks, what do you want to tag and what kind of tag do you want to use? I just want to use a regular point, layout, point tag. I want to tag everything and I want it to have a leader. 
And so now you can see every duct hanger anchor point has been tagged and placed. And you can obviously move the text so you can see it better. Uh, lastly, one of the things that you might want to consider doing is going to the 3D view. And if you can tab into that point, you can look at that point and see what it is. It's a GTP duct uh, point. We can see it's just a family of GTP and the type. We can put a description in here for all of them that says duct hanger anchor point like this. And the reason we're going to do this is because we can change how this appears in this view. What I mean by this is we can open up the filters dialog box, create a new filter, and we're going to call this one anchor points. We want it to look at generic model because that's what these objects are. And we want that filter condition to be the description has to equal that duct hanger point. Now that that has been created, we can highlight it, select it. It's there. It's visible. We can change the line work to be whatever weight that we want, whatever color that we want. <clears throat> as well as the pattern and we'll make that the same color and we'll make it a solid color. Now that we've done this you can very easily see in red those anchor points. And that's it. This is a quick screencast on Autodesk Point Layout 2016 within Revit to place anchor points, uh, uh, point layout points, anchor points on the duct hangers. Thank you for watching my screencast, and uh, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.